Beautiful. Oh, g'day. Keithy here. Thanks for joining me again. Good to have you here. So if you're watching this video, you're getting pretty keen to head up to Cape York. Maybe you're planning your, your trip for the next month or so. So a little bit of information that might be able to help you guys for your trip planning uh, right here, right now. So grab a cup of coffee, guys, and I'll give you a couple of minutes of my time and see if it helps you out for your trip up to Cape York. So 2023 is the year for Cape York. Pretty busy up there at the moment by all means. Um, I've contacted a number of the campgrounds along the way to Cape York and they said they're firing on all cylinders. So that's a great thing to hear. Now we're in June, almost in July. So this is peak season for Cape York. So school holidays coming up as well very shortly. It's gonna be really busy up there. So if you are just planning your trip now, good luck. You need to make sure you get those phone calls out there to all of the camp places that you wanna camp if there is a phone call required to, uh, to make those bookings and get that happening ASAP. Otherwise you might get a little bit of a surprise when you go up there, especially if you're traveling in a convoy of multiple vehicles. Uh, you could find it very difficult to get some kind of accommodation while you're up there. So we'll start from the bottom and work our way up on um, this year's road conditions and what you can expect up in Cape York. The first thing I do wanna say, if you haven't ever been to Cape York before, if you, this is your first time, or if you're just leaving for your trip now and you want a bit of information on what the roads are like and everything like that, then have a look up here. That's the road conditions you can get off the RSA, RACQ website. They'll show you if there's any roadworks or um, hot spots or anything like that. I'll tell you a little bit about some of the known hot spots that you'll get any year that you're going up to Cape York anyway. So what can you expect on your first Cape York trip or if it's your 7 millionth Cape York trip? Uh, generally, you're going to have a little bit more bitumen than used to be around. So a lot of the spots that were a dirt road are now actually being bitumenized which is a good thing if you've got a caravan or if you're towing a trail or anything like that, it actually makes the road a lot more comfortable to be a part of. Uh, but as a, as a result of that, you will see a lot of roadworks as they build these roads because right now is the dry season for the north. Come towards sort of November, December, that's when the wet season starts up in North Queensland. So you'll find that they stop the roadworks for the wet season and then begin again in the dry season, usually from about April once they've recovered and repaired the roads from the wet season. Heading up, if you've had a look at that website, the RACQ website, you'll see what's happening right now for you. I can tell you there's a bit of road work happening in between the um, Archer River Roadhouse and Cowan at the moment. And that is generally a hot spot anyway for um, road damage and whatnot. The road seems to be rather soft, especially the closer side towards the Archer River Roadhouse. So please be careful if you are heading up that way at the moment. Usually there's a lot of damage to the road. You cross a couple of creeks and you'll find that you're gonna be swerving around potholes and whatnot and um, you don't want to be hitting them too quick so along all of those dirt roads it's not a race remember uh, maybe just drop your speed down a little bit and be careful of oncoming traffic up towards weeper there's a bit of road works happening at the moment as well nothing too extreme but just again make sure you take your time getting up there all of the key spots in cape york at the moment have got a little bit of spot available a little bit of room available if you are going up and you haven't booked anything, please definitely get on the phone now and make those bookings because you might get a surprise when you get up there and you can't do that. Also keep in mind that at a lot of the service stations and whatnot on the Cape, there are not FPOS facilities all of the time. So sometimes they might lose phone service and they're unable to actually provide you guys with FPOS facilities. So you, it's a good idea to take a little bit of cash with you, not the whole bank, just enough cash to get you through incidentals say that there is a, a fuel station without FPOS and you need to fill up your four wheel drive, then that'll be extremely helpful. Also, there's been a bit of information of crime up in the Cape region lately. So please be careful when you pack your stuff away at night and go to bed. Please make sure that it's, everything is secure. Your vehicle is locked, doors are closed. Anything that's extremely valuable, have it in with you in the tent or take it with you if you're going on a trip out, say on the ferries to uh, Thursday Island or anything like that because unfortunately crime happens everywhere and Cape York is no different to anywhere else. 
So you need to make sure that all of your stuff is secure on your trip. I've had a number of reports on really, really bad drivers at the moment on the way up to Cape York. Coming back down, they generally seem to appear to want to get home a lot quicker than they did want to get up there. As a result, a number of windscreens have been smashed. People, especially if you've got a vehicle that's a bit eclectic and you haven't got too many of them around, are having trouble finding a windscreen for their vehicle because they're getting used up like crazy. What does that mean? Guys, please be appreciative of vehicles coming towards you, including trucks. Trucks generally have a harder time on these roads and they need to maintain speed where possible. So if you see a truck coming, pull off and let him have the road because he's got a lot more weight on board than you do. If you see another vehicle coming, it's just common courtesy to slow down a little bit, drop your speed, drop the dust, and also drop the rocks that you're throwing around and hopefully prevent smashing windows on the trip because that way you can get home without having to buy a new windscreen. We all know they're not very cheap to do and the insurance company likes to blame you for all kinds of things, including broken windscreens. Another thing to keep in mind too, is if you do catch up to a vehicle and you wanna try and get into contact with them, there are two channels that you can try if you wanna get them on the two-way radio and pass them, channel 10 and channel 40. Now, if you can't get them on channel 10, go over to channel 40. Hey vehicle, wherever you are, or if you can diagnose that it's a yellow Nissan Patrol, for example, hey, Mr. Yellow Nissan Patrol, would you mind if I get around you? I've got a convoy of three vehicles and we're tra traveling a little bit quicker than you are. Common courtesy, guys. Uh, same with your camps as well. Don't forget, usually it's around 10 o'clock at night. We like to cut off the noise, let everyone get a good sleep because you never know what their story is. Maybe they've had a rough trip up or maybe they've got to go early in the morning to get away for their next destination. In all of the campgrounds, if you're not camped on top of someone else, because people do it, please just keep your, your voices and your music and your entertainment to a dull roar, especially after the later hours of the evening. So I also mentioned about crime. It's sad to have to bring this one up, but it's happened a few times. And if you go on to the Facebook pages, you'll see as well. It is a thing, it is happening. Uh, some people have reported that locked vehicles have been broken into, but these days, if you open up a locked vehicle with the windows up, generally their horn will go off or there's an alarm somewhere that'll make a bit of noise. So perhaps there's a little bit of a furphy told in all of those. Make sure when you've set up and if you're going somewhere, even if it's just for a swim down on the beach, lock your valuables up in your vehicle. Take the key with you. Don't give them a chance to jump into your car because like all of the cities, like everywhere, it's unfortunate to have to say it, but there is crime. The latest, latest reports that I've got is Seisha is actually uh, quite bad lately for crime. The further away from the towns you are, obviously the less likely you are, but it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. So please lock up your valuables. And the last thing I wanna talk about is time, guys. Take your time. A lot of people plan a very short trip to Cape York. Maybe that's the only time that you can get. Maybe you've got two weeks and you've got to <whistles> hightail it. If you've got a little bit of time, take your time. Take everything in. Maybe cruise a little bit slower. You don't need to go 100 kilometers an hour on these dirt roads because sometimes you'll come across hazards on the roads that you'll need to slow down for. Take time to have a look around the campgrounds. Take time to chat to people on the trip because they're your best source of information on what's going on in the North Queensland up in the Cape York, especially when most of the trip you don't have phone service so you can't exactly just jump on Google and see what's going on at the moment. But most of all, have fun. Enjoy your trip up there. If there's somewhere to swim, go for a swim, especially along the tele track. If you're not doing the tele track, you can still pull into a couple of the swimming holes. Even if you're not doing the tele track, you can pull into a couple of them quite easily without having to engage four wheel drive. So check everything out on the way, take your time, be respectful, have a good time. I'll catch all of you guys up during the week. We're gonna do a three video series on Cape York. So I'm gonna do another series on getting your vehicle ready prepared for a Cape York trip. And then we're gonna do a final surprise video next Sunday on Cape York. So I'll catch you guys then. Take care and enjoy your trip.